We did discuss health concerns, and I have to say, like John, that we've been briefed by an incredible amount of work that's being done by the public sector, or public service, sorry. Uh, so I actually spent a good part of my morning yesterday at the Public Health Agency of Canada, and obviously we discussed uh, this issue during my briefings with them. They have worked very hard. I, I don't think we need to go into specifics now, but we, I do feel that we're in very capable hands. Public Health Agency is very aware of the health concerns that we need to be considering. TB and or what would it be? You know, uh, t tuberculosis is one of the conditions that obviously we will be looking at. And <coughs> again, we'll have a little bit more information on that, but I, ha I am feel that we are in excellent hands with our, our Public Health Agency of Canada to address P the PTSD needs that will arise. Maybe? P what will the recommendations going to Cabinet be costed? Well, we certainly discussed cost, but there are a huge number of different parameters or variables or considerations in determining uh, what those costs are. It depends on all sorts of things in terms of how we implement the plan. So I don't know exactly when we will have costs to present, probably not for a while because it's an ongoing process. But what I can guarantee to you, absolutely, is that we will not keep Canadians in the dark on what the costs are. And that I can say with 100% certainty. What I cannot say today is precisely the moment at which we will be able to release those costs, but certainly it won't be forever because our commitment is only two months away. What if will the first of these refugees start arriving? You, you've said the clock is ticking, you've been in talks for days, but, but without going to specifics, when will we see the first refugees arrive in this country? I, don't, I cannot give you a precise date. I'm telling you, we're working around the clock. We're working to interview many, many, many people to uh, verify them for security, to uh, achieve air transport, but we need export permits from the country. We need to engage the country's concern. So it's premature, even though the date is approaching, Where to answer that question because, because we have to speak to the governments of the countries involved. We have to uh, hire the airplanes or engage the airplanes. There's a number of things we are doing, all of it very quickly, but those things have not yet been done, partly because no final has decision has been made. We've made a recommendation to Cabinet, but Cabinet has to meet before we have a definitive plan. 